video, I am going to be making a chicken stew. We like it with some rice on the side, so I have uh, everything ready for us to start. And let's, let's go ahead and get started. So first, I start with a stick of unsalted butter. So that's half a cup right here. tablespoons of uh, white flour. Just gradually add it and keep mixing. You definitely want to add the flour gradually so it will all clump up. Just keep stirring. I'll show you what it looks like after I add all the flour. I turned it down because I noticed that it's bubbling fast, so I don't want it to burn. So, this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like dough after you've added all the flour. That's okay, this is, the, this is what you want because right now after this, you're gonna start adding the milk. So I have about two cups of milk. You wanna gradually add that as well. This will clump up if you add it too much all at once. See how it's starting to get creamy now? Still not enough. 
just a little bit more. So you might not have to use the entire portion of milk. Just based on what I see here, it's because the next ingredient is going to be the chicken broth. broth here which I boiled 12 drumsticks. I added pepper, salt and pepper and a little bit of uh, steak rub spice and I added an onion to make the uh, broth. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. This also you need to add gradually. Lumpy here now, that'll all dissolve and where you stir it. That's why you don't want to add the ingredients, the liquid ingredients, too fast. And always use your, or put your element down onto a low heat. We want to add safely half a cup at a time, half a cup of the chicken broth. A nice consistency here. Probably guessing or asking, sorry, not guessing. It's like, how is this a chicken stew if it's so liquidy? It will thicken the longer you cook it with the other ingredients as well. So that's four. Okay, so once I reach this consistency here, after about four cups of the chicken broth, what I do is Give it a little quick taste just so I can see if it needs more. Yeah, it needs a little bit more of the chicken broth. You'll kind of actually taste a little bit of the, uh, the mixture of the butter, flour, and milk. You don't want that. You want the ch flavor from the chicken broth. One more cup. Okay. So at this point here, there's no more clumps. They've all dissolved. And that's what you want to see. here I'm going to add my seasoning. So after taste testing it I noticed that it's like from the chicken broth it, it has a decent amount of salt so I from when I made the chicken broth. So 
I'm not going to add too much salt, that way it's not too salty. So just a tad bit of salt here, maybe half a teaspoon. I'm not going to use all of this amount. Okay. And then some black pepper. I'll have all the measurements for you in the description. As usual. And I have some ground garlic powder. I have the steak and chop rub. And after adding all the spices, you want to turn up the heat just a little bit more, maybe about halfway. Because next you're going to be adding the vegetables. The vegetables I used, I prepared them ahead of time. Basically, you don't have to buy the uh, match stick carrots, but I was pressed for time for today, so I just had that available in my fridge. So I used carrots, corn, one small potato, cubed, cut and cubed. I cut them small that way it won't take long for them to become soft and some celery as well if you like you prefer more vegetables you can go ahead and put the ones you like on top of this but these are the the main ones that I always use Slowly, or else you're going to be getting a mess everywhere, have a mess everywhere. So, again, for the vegetables carrots, corn, celery, and potatoes is what I use. Full of vegetables. It's pretty tasty. So now at this point, I like to add the chicken next. And I've already deboned the chicken. Like I said, it was I used 12 drumsticks um, just with the broth. I took them out for them cool enough for me to be able to debone them and I just put them in here that way they're ready. So again you want to add these slowly. See how it's already getting thick consistency when you add the vegetables and it's been cooking for a bit it will start to get thicker so I'm going to turn it up just a tad bit more to get that quick boil happening. But you definitely want to constantly stir it or else all the ingredients will start sticking to the bottom of the pot. It's 
So once the soup starts to boil, you're gonna add two tablespoons of dried parsley. If you have fresh parsley, you can use that as well. Just gotta wait a little bit more. A little bit longer. But in the meantime, I, I'm gonna be making, I could start, start on the rice. So I've added two tablespoons of vegetable oil in this pot. element on high. I have a cup and a half of basmati rice. This way both can be cooking at the same time. <laughs> and be ready. Hopefully in the same time frame. Before you start getting people nagging at you, your family. Is dinner ready? <laughs> now for the rice, I'm going to be using, normally I add a little bit of pepper um, and some salt to make just plain rice. But I'm not gonna add any salt or pepper because I'm gonna be using the remainder of the chicken broth, which will give it a nice flavor. The rice won't be so dry, um, or sometimes it can be turn out dry, but it'll also give it a nice flavor. I like to saute the rice a little bit with the oil before I add the liquid. And I can start to hear it <laughs> crackling. burn the rice. <laughs> it will burn easily. <laughs> rice is ready to have the broth added. Let's hope I don't make a mess here. the water starts to boil. Okay, but in the meantime, I see the chicken stew starting to bubble. Give it a quick stir. 
make sure nothing has stuck to the bottom. dried parsley. Just sprinkle it over the top. Give it a quick stir. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all my delicious dishes. <laughs>